Hey, what's going on? Hey, Will. So uh, you left this game with a big smile on your face, a positive message to your fellow castaways. Why was that important to you to go out like that? Yeah, I mean, I didn't want to go out being bitter, you know. I, I love this game too much, and I really wanted to uh, go out on a positive note. And the smile on my face actually wasn't really, you know, because I was happy. Obviously, I was upset. Um, but the smile on my face came from the fact that I, I that was the first moment that I truly got to understand that I had just been through this experience. Like, it had been surreal the entire time. And then to actually, um, you know, get voted out, that was the moment that it all became real for me. So that's why I was kind of smiling in that moment. But the kind words of encouragement to the rest of uh, the cast, that was just because I wanted to leave on a positive note. Right. I love that. I I, I don't like when people are are bitter and and angry when they leave. Um, I much prefer the way you left. It just makes me happier to know that the person is is happy. (laughs) Um, And a lot was made of the fact that you're 18 years old, the youngest person in Survivor history. Did you appreciate that narrative on the show, or do you think you know, maybe did that hurt you at all because people maybe looked at you differently knowing that you were so young? I think it was definitely an advantage in the beginning, and then it turned into a disadvantage. In the beginning, people looked at me as this young kid that they could just, you know, manipulate or, you know, play or whatever. And that ended up turning into a disadvantage because – people thought the same thing as the game progressed. And nobody's going to award a million dollars to a kid who they think they can, they can manipulate. So that's when it kind of became a disadvantage in the game when I needed to stop worrying about getting voted out and I needed to start worrying about how am I going to win this thing. Right. And what year again were you born? 1997. 1997. And Survivor started in 2000. So it's basically been on your entire life. Have you have yeah. you been watching it the, your whole life? Like, what's the first season you remember watching? The first season I really was able to comprehend was season 22, Redemption Island. But I've gone back and watched every season. And, you know, I, I've tried to be active in the community, like uh, watching all the podcasts and things like that. Gotcha. Um, and has it been a, a dream of yours to always, been on, to always be on the show? Or, or is this a, yeah, a recent it, thing? It's been a dream of mine since I first started watching it. It's been something that I've always wanted to do in my life. I always thought I would be good at it, and I always just wanted to compete. And you you voted for David. Did you – it looks like you – I think you and Jay both voted for David. Did you yeah. guys think yep. he was going home, or did you know you were going home? Tell us about you know the, your final night there. Yeah, I thought David was going home up until the end. It wasn't until Tribal and leading up to Tribal that I really uh, started to get nervous, and I really started to get this, like, feeling in the pit of my stomach, like, oh, no, um, this is making me a little bit nervous here. And for the whole night before and the whole day of strategizing, I really thought that David was going to go home and that I had the numbers and that uh, the only two people that were going to write my name down would be Ken and David. I thought the other uh, five were with me. Mm-hmm. And, okay, let's go to, to last week where you made the big move of voting out Zeke. Um, and then when Adam played his idol to save Hannah, even though he didn't need to, did that raise any red flags to you? Like, okay, maybe these people don't trust me like they should. Yeah, that, that definitely uh, raised a little bit of a red flag for me. But I, I was so immersed in the game, I really didn't take time to think about it. I was just kind of happy with the fact that Adam wasted an idol. Um, but <laughs> yeah. in the end, I definitely should have been more concerned. Right. Is there any regrets about making that move to, to get out Zeke, or is that something you, you're you really proud of and you stand behind that? Uh, no, I, I – I don't regret the move to get out of Zeke. I regret the timing that I uh, did it. I think I did it way too early. I think if I waited another tribal council or two, then I really could have had the opportunity to get rid of Zeke and it not be uh, such a big target on my back after that. Gotcha. And you were you were trying to build up the survivor resume you could bring up at the, the final tribal, and the Zeke vote was a big one. What other big moves um, were you really proud of that you would have brought up at that final tribal? Yeah, well, I mean, winning immunity would have been a big one. I think also uh, voting out Michaela, that was kind of a joint move between Jay and I. I would have definitely brought that up. Um, I think also 
um, finding the idol with Jay. And uh, I, another uh, big thing was, like, the subtlety of my gameplay. Right after Michelle was voted out, uh, I kind of immersed myself back into the tribe's good graces. And nobody really looked at me as somebody like, oh, we have to vote Will out because he was – uh, working with Michelle in the game. And I think that that was something that really uh, was a positive of my game, that I was able to quickly uh, reintegrate myself into the tribe, even though I had just been on the uh, wrong side of the numbers in that vote. And being a big fan of the show and then going out there and actually doing it, what was the biggest surprise that, that you saw out there or that happened to you that you didn't expect, that something that you never thought was happening? The biggest surprise is how the gameplay is real. I've I've always known that the uh, that the show is real from the physical standpoint of living on an island, but I never really knew that the gameplay is all authentic and that we really can do whatever we want and that as cast members and castaways that we build our own society out there and that's a really cool thing. Hmm. Um, if you could go back and do everything again, is there anything you would do differently? Yeah, I, I would have uh, definitely uh, waited another tribal to vote Zeke out. And I also would have um, tried to work with Jay uh, on a more even level. I think there were a lot of times that I didn't trust Jay when I should have, and that's something that uh, I really do regret. And um, besides the, the immunity you won, is what challenge out there was just so fun to play that like you would play it again in a heartbeat? Uh, the blindfold challenge. That's actually my favorite, even more than the immunity I won. I absolutely loved the blindfold challenge. Um, I thought that was a blast. And the finale is just a week away. Are you going to be excited to, to see everyone again and come out here to Hollywood? Yeah, definitely. I'm really excited. Uh, I didn't really get a chance to see L.A. Uh, the last time I was here for finals, so it really was uh, it really is something that I want to experience. I want to see L.A., and I definitely want to see all my other castmates and uh, mm -hmm. get to see how they're doing and what they've been up to. Is there anyone you don't want to see? Are you not looking forward to seeing anybody? No, honestly, I am good with everybody. I don't have any animosity towards anybody, uh, and I, I'm looking forward to uh, talking with everyone again. And now that you're a member of the jury, uh, what are you looking for – in a winner, like who's like not telling me the name that you're going to write down, but which, which yeah. type of person are you, are you are you looking for? I I want somebody that has a good social game, somebody who is able to uh, play this game strategically, but then also have their social game to fall back on when strategy inevitably goes wrong. Some of the sometimes, um, mm -hmm. and somebody who is good with everybody. Um, who's able to communicate his plan, his or her plan, uh, with somebody else. And a uh, final question, Will, who are you going to stay in touch with? Who do you think you're going to become, you know, lifelong friends with from this very awesome experience? Yeah, I mean, some people are still in the game, so I may not mention their names, but one person who's already left that I'd like to stay lifelong friends with is, ironically, Zeke. Uh, him and I have a close bond and relationship, and I think uh, we'll be friends uh, after this game. Very cool. Well, we enjoyed watching you on the show, and we will see you in less than a week here. I can't believe it's coming yep. up so soon. Yep. See you then. Okay. Bye, Will. Bye.